All right, so this is against uh, Hatildo, his name is uh, uh, Austin Hatfield. I met him at Star City Games, Baltimore, and uh, he was the one who top aided with Norn Sisters. But uh, I met him and uh, we play tested here a couple of matches against Tron. Okay, hold on one sec. All right, so he goes first. I'm playing Tron over here so that I can practice against it, get some play testing in, and get an idea. I have a hypothesis that it's best to keep Tron off of um, lands, and that's how we beat them. So he sees that I draw a world breaker off the top. surgical, so that's good stuff. And another surgical incoming. Now this whole time we're talking with each other. <coughs> um, so we're talking like, what are the, uh, the best lines here? Uh, I point out that he does not want me to have chromatics. Uh, is that chromatic sphere? Yeah. So. No. I'm going to get the world breaker off here. I'm getting rid of that bridge. But. It's still okay. Because here you can ghost quarter me and then surgical. During the draw phase, letting me draw a Yugen. And then surgical all of the, uh, the power plants. So now I'm not playing anything else in my hand. I just gotta beat him for five. His next card is Ensnaring Bridge. Now, there was the chance here that uh, I ghost quarter him to try to stop that bridge, but then I won't be able to play anything after that either. It'll be a lot easier for him to keep me uh, <clears throat> keep me off all lands to play anything else for the rest of the game. So if he gets a bridge anyways, I still lose. Now, uh, needle on map. And it becomes much easier to keep me under control. Can you ask me to come down? Alright. So. Yeah, keep me off that sphere because you can't respond to it. Oh, my son needed help with something real quick, so I had to step away. Alright. So there's a... Yeah. Yeah, he... He knows I have no lands in hand because he surgical me and whatnot. He just didn't keep track. <clears throat> so, still trying to keep me off the of lands here. Yeah, during my uh, draw phase, after I draw the grove, he goes quarters the grove and then surgicals those. And now I'm really slim on lands. And uh, basically, he can control me out for the rest of the game. Now here, uh, what he does is he sacks the Shredder to get a Ghost Quarter back to Ghost Quarter me again. Uh, there are only two basic force in the Tron deck. <clears throat> so, I think correct play here is to sack Shredder, get Surgical, and Surgical 
the towers, which I think that's what we go back and do, because we're trying to not do any misplays here. Yeah, so that's what we end up doing. And now it's relatively easy to keep me off of lands, or lands that I need to play anything. I got six lands. So I need seven to do anything here. And he easily just controls from here on out. <clears throat> now I think something else he can do here is uh, he can use Shredder and get Surgical and Surgical yet another land at some point here. Yeah, the mines. Because then I don't have enough lands in the deck to play anything. Um, and we talk about that. But he said uh, I'd rather just mill him out. I was like, okay. But either way... Uh, the game's over here. I don't have enough lands. Uh, you can easily keep me off the like handful of lands that I have left. I think I have uh, what like two mines left in the deck. I think that's the the extent of it. So two out of eighteen, uh, and he just has to stop me from drawing like uh, the scrying and whatnot. Uh, Still in scryings. So this is relatively easy. Personally, I think it is correct to do the uh, Shredder surgical route, because that way he doesn't even have to stop me from drawing uh, Steel and Scrying or uh, Ancient Storings or any of that stuff. And he can just, like, full all-out mill, and then he can still recur the Shredder with the Academy Ruins. But, yeah, that ends up being game. Eight cards left in library. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure my bottom card is a land. But, anyways, uh, that's game one. Alright. Uh, it's not a bad hand for Tron. Oh, and he, we're going back. Uh, he wanted to test sighting in uh, Crumble instead of a Needle. Poopy hand, not bad. So, yeah, uh, we take back my dumb plays here because we're trying to play as if the the Tron player is making smart plays. So, we do it the right way. And sure enough, that leads to a turn three Tron. And, uh, he's trying to do crazy bells against me. He does end up drawing that crumble to dust, but he doesn't have a mana to play it. There's a Karn, and I try to cut my opponent, uh, cut him off of a uh, land immediately, I think. Yeah. So this is pretty rough at this point. It's about done. Yeah, the Ulamog shuts it down. That's going to be game. So we go to game three. He keeps this one. Uh, it's not bad to like this quarter. Uh, he's going to play out a lot of stuff here. I end up having to mold over here, but I do get the uh, almost getting natural Tron here. Um, Spell Skites, the reason I decided those in this Tron is because they shut off the welding jars against Lantern. I think that's what an experienced Tron player would do. 
but now he knows that I'm on two lands, no green mana, because he saw what I scried, and he milled it, a chromatic star. <clears throat> so it's going to be relatively easy. Uh, his only risk was that I have natural Tron, which I do not. And now he's got enough mill rocks to keep me on those three lands for the rest of the game. Uh, he does Needle Stone here. I don't think it matters because he could just keep me off of lands, but either way, it's good stuff. So Lantern ends up winning this one, if I remember correctly. trying to calculate what the likelihood was of hitting runners here. Oh yeah, he ends up drawing a surgical, and that's pretty much it, because uh, he can just surgical the power plants, and that's it. So, yeah, 2-1 Tron, or 2-1 Lantern against Tron.